Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video demonstration on how to administer a subcutaneous injection. Subcutaneous injection can be administered either at a 90 degree angle or at a 45 degree angle depending on the patient's adipose tissue. So if you keep in mind that we have the first layers of the skin, the epidermis, dermis, then the subcutaneous layer and then the, the, the muscle layer. So for an intramuscular injection, we would have to go fairly deeply, which is why we administer those at 90 degrees. But for subcutaneous tissue, which is right above the muscle layer, it'll depend on the size of your patient and the site. So for example, if you use the abdomen in a very thin patient, their subcutaneous tissue is going to be very thin. So it's better to go at a 45 degree angle to reach that tissue. If the patient has more adipose uh, tissue in their belly, then it's probably better to go at 90 degrees to reach that tissue, or it's safe to do that. If you would use, let's say the back of the arm, most likely 45 degrees is going to be sufficient unless this patient has a bigger arm and maybe more adipose tissue in the back of their arm as well. So it'll just depend on um, how your patient looks and what their body looks like. And uh, for this purposes, I have prepared an insulin syringe here with 10 units and I'm going to give this subcutaneous injection at 45 degrees. As always, we want to prepare our patient after we've verified all the patient rights of administra medication administration. I want to clean the site from the very center in a circular motion outward, which will help carry any contaminants from the skin away from the injection site. Uh, make sure you let that air dry, don't blow on it because then germs from your mouth might um, reach the site. Um, uncap your needle with your dominant hand, hold the, the plunger and then stabilize the injection site. This needle is very small, um, but it still is very nice to warn the patient that, they are, that you're going to give the administration now, the medication. So I'm going to go in at about a 45 degree angle, little poke, administer that medication. This uh, mannequin is a little bit difficult to go through their skin. And then I can either use my non-dominant hand to pull the plunger or I can stabilize it with the non-dominant hand and then use the plunger and push it, take out the needle right away, use the safety mechanism for my own protection as well as the patient's and get rid of the sharps container, of the sharps in the sharps container. And that is all there is to a subcutaneous medication administration at a 45 degree angle. The 90 degree is very similar, except that you go in at a different angle and I have a separate video that is an intramuscular injection at 90 degrees. Thanks so much for watching. Also check out the other videos in the medication administration playlist. Thanks for watching. See you soon.